Greetings, everyone. Welcome to the HQ Financial Planning Conversation, Alan Lim Exclusive. My name is Samuel Ko. I'm the founder of the Headquarter Client Engagement System. I want to take this time to share with all of you about the reason we are starting this initiative with Alan Lim. I'm a firm believer that moving forward, the next five years or 10 years and beyond, financial planners who begin to position yourselves as trusted advisors, the future is going to be very bright for you. In fact, you can see this industry as a sunrise industry. However, we are smack right in the middle of a pandemic, a future that is very uncertain, and not only that, the beginning of the fourth industrial revolution. What is that? This is a time where keywords such as artificial intelligence, machine learning, blockchain, automation, robotics. Right? These are the keywords that are dominating headlines. And in every industry, the progress has been denominated by a single thing, technology. What is concerning is the rate of change today, which is very different compared to 5 to 10 years ago. Two, day, two weeks ago, I was uh, in a presentation I was sharing with a few leaders and I asked this question, what is going to stop a company like Google who owns so much data about us? A company that knows us more than our spouse and our children. What is going to stop a company like this from starting their own insurance company and becoming our competitors? So after the presentation, I took up my phone and I, I just talked to Google Assistant and I asked, Will Google start to sell insurance? So let me share with you what I found. Okay, what we're looking at right now is actually uh, an article that was uh, dated August 27, 2020. This was just a few months ago. And it says that Google's sister company, Verily, announced it will start selling insurance but it says it wouldn't use data from its COVID-19 sites for its data-driven insurance product. Okay, so this is one of the things that you need to keep in mind. It is already happening today, not two years later. Let me share with you something else. So this came through from my bank and um, it's an article about AI uh, being able to now give in-depth financial advice via live chat. And um, let me highlight the keyword here. The keyword here is in-depth financial advice. So what I did was I actually signed up an account and uh, went through the process. So let me just highlight to you a few things that I saw, okay? And um, what you're looking at here is that after a series of uh, fact-finding questions, you know, um, about myself, my wife, my children, you know, their birth dates, right, and a bit about my plans, okay, it was able to tell me that I stand at about 85% of achievability in terms of realizing my, my goals, okay. And after uh, a few more screens, right, chatting with the chatbot, right, you can see all these buttons over here, right, would you be willing to make the change, yes or no. I went through this experience with the chatbot. Although it says it's a chatbot, I did not touch the keyboard at all, right? It was just hitting the button. It was this easy. And then after a while, I came to a screen that tells me that I stand at 90, 97%. Now, let me share with you my state of mind um, at the beginning of the process and compared to the end of the process. Okay, at the beginning, I was just curious, right? Wanting to find out how this thing works. At the end of the process, I was given two very distinctive, very specific advice, right? That was generated by the AI in a very short time, seconds. Number one, I need to reduce my monthly spending by 10%. Number two, I need to delay my retirement for two years in order to stand at 97%. Now, at the end of this process, I had more questions I wanted to ask and I felt that, you know, I, I, I think I should talk to a financial advisor. 
But of course, if I were to talk to a financial advisor, this financial advisor have to operate at a level that is beyond this single needs analysis. And just going through this experience, one single experience, a few single needs analysis was already taken care of, right? Basic income replacement, right? Education for my children, including my retirement. Now, we are not talking about three to five years later, we are talking about something that is already happening today, right? So this is something that you need to uh, bear in mind, right? Looking at this future, okay? Let me share with you something else. A week ago, I was in a park uh, taking a walk and I took a snapshot from this billboard, right? Something struck my attention. It's about this um, IntelliBus, right? That is already in service. Now, nothing nothing strange about this. We have something like this going on in Singapore as well. Okay, this is Australia, Perth. And uh, I'd like to zoom in and highlight to you three, three items over here, right? Stage three, uh, level three, four and five, okay, of automation. Level three, conditional automation. 2017 to 2020, right? Level four, high automation. 2020 to 2025. Driver is no longer needed in limited environments. RAC IntelliBus is a level 4 driverless vehicle. We are talking about today, okay? And level 5, full automation, 2026 to 2030. We are talking about 6 to 10 years from now. You won't need a steering wheel. Just tell the vehicle where to go. And if my, I may add, Right? I don't think uh, for a lot of situations you need to tell the vehicle where to go because today, Google is already looking at your travel patterns using Google Map. It's already able to identify you. There's a unique signature about your, your travel pattern. All right? And if my girl is going out, stepping out of the house at 7.30, right, hopping into the vehicle, he knows, the vehicle knows that she's going to school. Okay, Your fridge We'll monitor every item inside there, right? When the groceries uh, run out, you will see it deliver at your doorstep. If things are turning bad in the fridge, it will notify you, right? The lights in your house, uh, today, the, the lights that I'm using right now, these are like in intelligent lights. I no longer need to switch them off when I leave the room. I Before I sleep or I can set the timing, everything will just turn off by itself, okay? Now, if you live in this future and why do i share with you about the driverless vehicle right because in our lives this is a very very significant area okay mobility is very very significant if we can trust our family with ai in a driverless vehicle right then the shift of trust would have already shifted from human being to artificial intelligence okay now, today, it's already happening. In the US, Tesla, right? A lot of people are already, you know, hands off. But of course, if we, I asked a few friends uh, in Singapore, and, you know, if you, you're in, tes in a Tesla vehicle, right? And your entire family is in there, your children, right? And you're driving from Singapore to KL. Will you be willing to go the whole journey with your hands off, right? The answer is no, right? We still don't trust it enough. But in a few years' time, we will. Okay, then the question I want to ask you is this. How is that going to shift consumers' expectation when it comes to financial planning and advisory? Now, you look at the application that I was sharing with you earlier, okay? It was already able to connect my bank account. So, what that means is that if I overspend, right, it will, it will notify me and say that, hey, you need to tone that down because in order to for you to be on track with your objectives, you cannot overspend, okay? And uh, if I have a pay increment, right, you will know that, you know, perhaps it's time to sit down with a financial advisor and, and, and to look at what you can do with this pay increment, right? Maybe now you can retire one year earlier, okay? So the time, the time is no more where I sit, you know, and wait for my financial planner to call me for a review, Right, so definitely you have to operate at a level that is beyond you know what an AI can do, 
Now, but there's a, there's a good news over here. Let me share with you what this good news is, okay? Human beings will accept and trust artificial intelligence, okay? But they will still not be able to accept artificial empathy. So, for example, if you're working with me in the area of estate planning, plan giving, right? I'll be sharing with you a lot of intimate details about my family, emotional issues with uh, you know my children, or if not, if there is a special needs with one of them, etc. Right? These are things that I'm not going to you know let the bank know. I'm not going to share with the, your insurance company. I will only share with you because you are my trusted advisor. So the space of relevance in moving to this future is getting narrower and narrower, right? But if you are moving into this direction, then yes, the future is going to be very bright for you. So for us in HQ, um, I'm a technology researcher. I'm a technologist, right? And I know these are things that are already happening. Let's not kid ourselves and um, hope that it doesn't happen. It is already happening. And we are creating solutions, continue to evolve towards this direction. And, and this is the reason why um, we are having this collaboration, this strategic collaboration with Alan Lim at a very timely uh, uh, juncture in our lives. I've known Alan for more than 20 years. Let me share with you a little bit about him. Um, we, ha we conducted this um, event called the uh, Estate Planning Conversation and Alan was one of the keynote speakers. He shared with us a case study of uh, LKY and it was, uh, was a lot of learning points in there, very insightful and very interesting. And um, now, I've known Alan for a long time. We came from the same agency, but I found my calling in the area of um, creating systems for financial planners to support you guys. And Alan, he found his calling in the area of financial planning research so for the last 20 over years, he has been quietly but very consistently uh, doing his research. And he was also the, in the last 12 years, he was the assessor for the CHFC certification in Singapore, right? But I've been around for 27 years and I've known a lot of financial planners. There are also a lot of knowledgeable financial planners, but I do not uh, I, I saw that Alan was doing things that I don't see other people doing, right? For Consistently for more than 20 years. He would be looking at newspapers, for example, okay? Part of his research, right? Looking at stories. And if they are learning points, he would be capturing them, uh, fouling them, and turning them into training materials, including obituaries, okay? So we, we have this arrangement now, and I'm uh, very thankful for Alan to avail himself and uh, with, with also this collaboration. And over 20 years, he has a repository, uh, which I believe is the largest. And uh, we are privileged to have this agreement with him to for HQ to be hosting this repository. And over time, we will build it up. And, um, and, and the three months now where we are having this conversation every week, we are recording one and we are posting on YouTube. So you can avail yourself to these videos, okay? Um, it is, this is a prelude to a... To, to a professional um, level of a HQ subscription that we are going to launch later. Um, and when this subscription is launched, there'll be a lot more things, right? Uh, you'll be able to operate at a much higher level. And for those of you who are already using HQ, you know that we have uh, features like the web profile, um, you know, the newsletter, and also the content system that allows you to share knowledge, right, or content with your personal branding. And so this entire experience is going to be enhanced 10 times more, right, into going to this future. So with this, I, I just hope that you guys will continue to um, enjoy the video. You will learn, definitely learn uh, new things and uh, conversations that you can carry with your existing clients as well as uh, your prospects, all right? And um, I look forward to seeing you guys again in the next video. And for now, I wish that uh, you and your families will continue to stay safe. See you again. Cheers.